This is a great day for uh, the city of Williamson. Um, I, I know a lot of citizens in the Tug Valley area have uh, gotten sticker shock over the past few months when they know, but they've opened their power bills. Um, we've experienced the same thing. This is a way for us to offset some of those costs and, and use uh, an alternative way of energy. We are a, a coal economy. We will always be that, but this is just a way to help us offset some of our costs, and we're very uh, glad to be the first to try to do that here in the, uh, the city of Williamson. The truth of the matter is it's very simple. It is very, very simple. Um, one of the beauty of, of photovoltaic technology is there are no consumables. I mean, what you have here is a silicon crystal, a perfect silicon crystal. Now, silicon is the second most abundant element in the Earth's crust, okay? Uh, and so it's everywhere. It, it's in almost all rock. We, uh, we have this beautifully simplistic technology. As long as there's sun coming into this, this uh, photovoltaic cell, it will continue to produce energy. Home three, right? One, two... Three. Events like this that we had today are, you know, will go a long way to educate the legislators and so they realize it's not a threat to their business but would actually enhance their business and, and, and give us a more diversified energy portfolio. On behalf of myself, my, my wife Michelle, uh, Wimson City Council and the citizens of Wimson, would like to welcome everybody. Thank you for being here. Special thanks to uh, Jobs Project for facilitating this project and some other things they're helping us with here in the city. We hope that this is just one of many to come in the area and we're excited about it. Uh, we had hoped that Mike Witt, the, the executive director of the Mingo County Redevelopment Authority, would also be here today. He had to be out of town, but he did send a note. Would you like me to read it there? It says, on behalf of the Mingo County Redevelopment Authority and its board of directors, I'd like to congratulate Mayor McCormick and City Council and the Wimson business community for bringing such a successful solar project to Mingo County. Today's energy environment, solar power is a tremendous asset. We commend the Jobs Project and its partners for their due diligence and tireless effort to bring this viable alternative energy project to Southern West Virginia. Congratulations, Mayor McCormick, City of Williamson, for a very successful public-private partnership, which ultimately will benefit the citizens of the community, city, and county. Conserving natural resources and preserving a way of life. And the quicker we understand that, that we're not trying to attack somebody's way of life, that we're trying to preserve our way of life, I think everybody will be better off and our projects will move forward. I'm um, Mike McKechnie, we're with Mountain View Solar and Wind, Colin Williams is with me as well. And we'd like to say a big thank you to everybody here that made this possible. Without a client like Dino Beckett, we wouldn't be here. Without the Mary, we wouldn't be here. Without the good people of Williamson, without the, the, the Jobs Project, without our hardworking guys here that made this all happen. Mitchell, yeah, Mitchell Building Company in Charleston, West Virginia is down here, and a lot of other local guys got trained. This is about creating new jobs in this part of the world. We've already done it up in the Eastern Panhandle. This will work everywhere, and it's going to work here, and this is the first opportunity we've had to do it because of the partnership we've created. We're using an American-made panel. Isn't that good? Ben is here from Solar World to talk about that. We've been welcomed with open arms, and we feel very grateful for the hospitality and the opportunity to come down here and work to train people. We purchased everything we could from this community. We didn't bring it with us. We bought it here, and we trained folks. Right. Thanks for having us. There's more work than any of us can do. So the training process is about stimulating the local economy and more solar is better. Contractors, it's a contracted trade. There's not a special solar guy that does it. We're contractors with electricians, plumbers, and roofers. The consumer interest is there, but you gotta get it up off the ground, get the workforce trained, get the sales staff trained, and then get out into communities. As they're signing the contract and they're writing the check, they're thanking us because they've made an investment that's secure, it will only ever appreciate. It can't go down in value. It's attached to utility prices. If utility rates drop, your investment can go down. If utility rates don't drop, your investment will go up. It's an insured investment. It's attached to your structure. It's insured. So it's an investment with a very high rate of return. It's insured, and it can never go down in value. That's how my accountant broke it down for me. He said, tell people that. That's what they want to hear, and that's how it works. It's the best investment people can make, and as soon as they find out about it, they're ready. My name is Eric Mathis. I'm the uh, founder and president of the Jobs Project. 
We're kind of a catalyst for actually making this uh, event happen within Williamson. This is a, a launching of many things. One, it was an installation of the largest PV array, arguably, in the uh, coal fields in central Appalachia. Two, it was a launching of our training program that hopefully we're going to be integrating into New River Community and Technical College, as well as Bridgemont uh, CTC. And then beyond that, we're working with a lot of uh, folks in D.C. and various other agencies in developing a regional stra strategy to bolster the research and development institutional capacity to attract manufacturers like Solar World that was here today. We see in the future that there are going to be energy problems. Uh, we have growing population, we have uh, exponential growth and consumption of energy, and fossil fuel sources of energy will not last forever. So we really need to start planning ahead and thinking about how we're going to move into the future. And it's going to take everything. It's going to take every bit of fossil fuel we have on this earth and probably some nuclear and a lot of renewable energy and some stuff we haven't even dreamed up yet to keep us in energy in the future.